And I'm your host, Benny. And I'm Belle. In today's story, we're talking about ADHD. According to a 2016 parent survey, 6.1 million kids was diagnosed with ADHD. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Everyone struggles here and there with paying attention or listening. Like me, and I'm about to go play the game, but I'm busy here. But people who have ADHD have trouble with these things. Almost all of the time, and it's something that is out of their control. Genetics play a big part in why people are diagnosed with ADHD. So they most likely have a parent or a relative who have ADHD too. Boys are about three times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD than girls. This just in. ADHD is not caused by what? Sugar! Belle, back to you. When you hear ADHD, you probably just picture a kid who is bouncing from wall to wall. But it's more than that. There are different types of ADHD. There's inattentive, hyperactive, slash impulsive, and combined. Here we have inattentive. You'll see a person struggles with paying attention to detail, has trouble listening, struggles with following or understanding instructions, they get distracted easily, or they tend to be forgetful. In the middle, we have hyperactive slash impulsive. This is when a person struggles with being fidgety, talks a lot, they do things without thinking about the consequences, and are often impatient. And then there's combined. This is when a person can have a combination of inattentive and hyperactive slash impulsive. Back to you, Benny. ADHD is treated in several ways. When a doctor diagnoses you with ADHD, they can prescribe you medication to help with paying attention or to slow you down a little bit. You may also attend therapy. A therapist will help you with impulsivity, social skills, help you cope with feelings, or give you tips on paying attention. Yes, sir, ski! You can also help yourself by getting a good night's sleep, or eating healthy foods, or getting active. You know, like by skiing? Yeah! Ski! Yeah! Ski! It can be hard for kids who have ADHD because they may get in trouble a lot for not paying attention, losing their temper, or having trouble following directions. But with the right care and support, they can be unstoppable. Wait, oh, oh yeah. Thank you for tuning in this evening for You For My News. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you always stay updated with the latest. We'll see you next week. I think that was that ADHD thing you was talking about. I'm out of here.